Of course, this is false. Glutathione, vitamin C, leaving fibrous oil, marine collagen. Nothing brightens your skin overnight. This is false. Glutathione is an antioxidant. In combination with other antioxidants, it can actually support your liver to make its own antioxidants. And therefore, all this put together eventually gives you a more even toned, brighter skin. Not really. Vitamin C helps in multiple things for skin. One, of course, immunity. So therefore, your skin itself will be devoid of any infection and inflammation. Two, helps absorption of uh, nutrients such as iron. Primarily very important for the skin as well. It also helps in bonding the amino acids to make the collagen happen in your skin. So very important for collagen formation. And it helps as coenzyme to multiple reactions in the skin as well. So vitamin C is a very vital nutrient to the skin. Most importantly, it's easy to actually ingest rather than apply because if you have a sensitive skin, if you don't have the right format, it can simply get oxidized and wasted away. So I always prefer eating rather than applying it. No, evening primrose oil is a great source of um, omega acids which also ends up mimicking a few uh, functions of estrogen, estrogen like a plant-derived estrogen. So it may really help you during menopause, during menstrual cycles, when the skin is very dry. All of these times is when you use the primrose oil in combination with vitamin E and flaxseed oil. It's like a wholesome good fat for you. All the three omegas which is really required for your skin, for your joints and for your health. Of course, zinc plays a role in acne and uh, it's important to take it with in combination with maybe vitamin C and uh, defense one of our tablets so that will really help uh, heal acne a lot faster collagen is what you eat is nothing but collagen binder only nobody is eating real collagen and that's not going to make collagen out there we are all feeding into collagen binders we are taking out the animal collagen but what it is doing is if you're thinking you're putting marine collagen into your mouth and that's actually collagen in its own form it's going to go and become collagen in your skin that's not how it's going to look these are also amino acids which then feed into making of your collagen where we use the term collagen builders is when we are using non-animal based uh, collagen such as uh, plant collagen which are just amino acids and they don't actually work as well as animal sourced collagen oh no no anagen is not just a biotin supplement come on Anagen has so many good things in it. It's in fact a complete package for a good hair. Whether your hair is falling or you simply want to maintain the good hair that you have or the hair is aging or you're going through a hormone turmoil or a stress turmoil, you need that extra boost of micronutrients for your hair which protects your hair, hydrates your hair, supports the growth of your hair, reduces inflammation of the hair. That is Anagen because it has amino acids it has micronutrients, it has microvitamins, it also has minerals such as iron which support the hair growth. So, it's an all-in-all -all wholesome food for your hair, not just biotin. Biotin is also there by the way. Not really, not really. Anything too much, especially vitamin C, which is a water-soluble vitamin C, simply gets eliminated from your body, don't get really worried. Of course, marine collagen is one of the best sources of collagen. And that does help reduce signs of aging in by hydrating the skin, by feeding, um, by giving you enough food to make the collagen in your body. However, I don't believe in just giving you marine collagen because you can't have enough of it. So when you're taking a meter dose of marine collagen, like when you take powders, you may get a bigger scoop to take, but it also has a disadvantage of all the additives in it. While in the tablet, the scoop size may be smaller because you need to fit into a swallowable tablet right but along with it what we do is put other hydrants like edible um, hyaluronic acid lutein alpha lipoic acid which all adds to the milieu or the ground substance building of this collagen so you're giving it the whole thing rather than just wound it